Alright, this is CPU Kid from CPUKid.org, and I'm here with my PlayStation 3, as you can see. And this is going to be a video on how to swap out the hard drive. Um, just in case, for some reason you don't know, you can swap out the hard drive with your PS3 without voiding the warranty. Sony lets you do this. Um, and it doesn't have to be a PS3 specific hard drive. For instance, I got this hard drive right here from Newegg.com. It's just a standard laptop hard drive. A SATA 2.5 inch laptop hard drive. Uh, as you, if you didn't see, it's 320 gigabytes compared to the 40 I have now. I got this for about $58 free shipping on Newegg.com. So it's a great price. Um, I highly recommend their service. And I'm going to go ahead and just get started. Um, in case you're scared about doing this, don't be. It's very easy. And like I said, Sony lets you do it, it doesn't void your warranty. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it now. First, so if you have a PS3 like this, the not the slim but the old one, wash your hands first because this thing's a fingerprint magnet. If you have the PS3 slim, it's, it has that matte finish, so there's not many fingerprints. But if you have this, trust me, wash your hands first. <laughs> so first you want to you know, put this on camera first. Get this a little closer. There's a little tab here. And you want to get like a knife or something like I have here, something that's pretty thin. And you want to get it right in there. just like that and then just pull it off and then just set that aside now the next thing you're gonna see is here's the actual hard drive here and you have to remove this screw and it's just a standard Phillips so you get a Phillips head screwdriver and you just mm, do what you think you unscrew it <laughs> now if you haven't done this before it's gonna be really snug I've gone in here before the video and I've taken I've loosened them all up just for the purpose that I don't they were they are very tight the first time you take it out so you do what I just did there then you just take that pull it out some of them might be different some might have like a little pin here but you just pull it to the side and pull it out so here's your hard drive here now obviously you can't just go sticking this in there you have to take this hard drive off of this tray and now there's four screws one there one there and two on the other side so I'm going to go ahead and remove all these. Okay, I've removed all four of the screws. And now the hard drive should just slide out. Simple as that. Sorry if you can hear that. It's my phone vibrating. <laughs> but now, here's the new hard drive. You want to make sure you put it in right with the arrow. The side that has the little arrow there. You want to have the ports go that in that direction. So you want to put the back and in like that. Let's see if we can get this in there. Just like that. And you just screw it right back in. Okay, so as you can see, I have all four screws in. Now you just do what you did earlier, instead of, except in reverse. So you just take it, slide it back in, and then you screw the blue screw back in. And there you go. Just like that, you've upgraded your PS3's hard drive. Um, it's In my opinion, this is one of the best reasons to get a PlayStation 3. Uh, Microsoft's Xbox 360, they restrict you to their hard drives unless you do some hacking. But then if they catch you, they ban you from Xbox Live. So, And they're, you can get a PS3 hard drive for much cheaper. You, I think like a, like a 360, I think, it's not even that big, maybe... Uh, 100 gig hard drive, 120 gig or something is like over a hundred dollars, which is just insanely overpriced. You shouldn't have to pay that much for that that little bit of storage, um, especially when like the Xbox 360 arcade doesn't even have a hard drive. That's even worse. But you can get like I said, this is a 320 gigabyte hard drive, which is eight times as big as this. This is just the standard 40 gig, and I got that for fifty dollars, which is like three times as much as Microsoft's giving you for for less money. So, in my opinion, that's one of the main reasons to get a PlayStation 3 is just for what I just showed you. But that was the process. I now have a 320 gigabyte PlayStation 3. Uh, if you have any questions or want a link to a good hard drive, just let me know. This has been CPU Kid from CPUKid.org, and thanks for watching.